Hello everyone, I'm Tim Stack and I work for the Utah Education Network here in Salt Lake City, Utah and in this set of tutorials uh, I'd like to go through the process of creating a simple website using Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. So these tutorials are designed for someone who possibly has never used Dreamweaver before or maybe even has never created a website before. So uh, feel free to watch them and hopefully you can learn something. Um, they are intended to accompany an in-person class or accompany a online class that we do for teachers here in Utah. But I'm putting them up on YouTube for anyone to uh, check out. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations or requests, just go ahead and comment and I'll see what I can do. Okay, in this first episode of this set, I'd like to go through the process of setting up a website or uh, probably say defining a website or defining a site within Dreamweaver so you can get started to work. It's always the first thing you need to do when you are ready to start from scratch. So that's what we're going to do. So um, I've got Dreamweaver up and running right now and um, I'm going to tell Dreamweaver about my project or about this website. Now a website is a whole collection of files that all work together uh, to make up the site. So before I get started I want to create a place to store all those files. Um, and I've done that down on the desktop. I'm not going to go and show it to you, but on the desktop I've created a folder and I've just named it Tim's root, meaning that's my folder or my directory where I'm going to store all the files that are going to make up this one website. And right now I just put one folder in there for images and I just have some sample images that I'll show you here um, shortly. But before I get started I need to tell Dreamweaver about my project, about what it's going to be called, and about where my local files are going to be stored. So here's how I do that. Um, I've got Dreamweaver CS4 up and running. I'm going to go to the site menu there across the top and choose a new site from this menu. Alright, so uh, when that site dialog box comes up I'm going to see a basic tab at the top and an advanced tab. So uh, I'm just going to go to the advanced tab. It's a little quicker and down this left side you can see that there's some categories here, local info. So I'm going to fill that out first. I'm just going to give this uh, site a name. And this is, I'm the only one that's going to see this so don't worry too much about what it is. Um, maybe I am a math teacher and I want to create a math site for my students and their parents. So I put in a site name and then I need to uh, tell Dreamweaver for this website where is that local root folder. That's the folder on this computer where I'm going to store all the files. And I'm just going to use the button here on the end and that will allows me, allow me to browse out to the desktop and select this folder called Tim's Root and push the choose button. Okay, and you can see how Dreamweaver has uh, written down the pathway to that folder on the desktop. Now that is the minimum I need to do to get started working on a website. Um, I can also put in the remote info if I have uh, my web hosting service set up and defined. I'm going to wait to do that until we get to the FTP tutorial or the uploading tutorial, but uh, these are the two minimum things I need to put in in order to get started. And I'm going to click the OK button down there at the bottom of the page and now along the left side here, I'm sorry, along the right side you can see that Dreamweaver is showing me the Files tab. That's the default. Now if your Files tab over here uh, doesn't come up in this right hand set of um, panels, uh, there's a menu that controls all your toolbars and your tabs and your panels. It's this window drop down menu. So you can see how I've got the Properties bar uh, open. That's the toolbar that runs along the bottom of my interface. I've also got the Files panel, that's the one I'm just speaking about now, and the Application bar which is up here across the top. So those are kind of the minimum uh, toolbars that I'd have open or panels. 
So that files panel is sitting over here. It's showing me that uh, I'm working on the Tim's math site. And here it's showing me the contents of that uh, local root folder that I'd created on the desktop before I even opened up Fire, uh, before I'd even opened up Dreamweaver. <clears throat> and you can see I've got one folder in there called Images. And if I cl click on this triangle, it twirls down. And I can see I even have some subfolders in there to help me keep all the graphics organized here for my website. I've got a sample banner in there that we'll we'll get to later, and some sample photos that we'll work on. But uh, with that much, I'm now ready to get started working on this website. And in the next episode, I will be uh, creating the root structure, adding the pages that I think I need for this website to get started. <laughs>